The difference between the rich and the poor grows every single day. This goes for any of the economic factors. When I'm talking about the food supply, the rich are getting a different food supply than the poor. And this is, you know, keeps increasing every single day. Look at Jamie Diamond, CEO of JP Morgan. He's getting a massive pay increase. Why? Because he's done so well, but not just because of the performance of the company, but because he's doing the evil deeds that his handlers are forcing him to do. And I'm sure he's enjoying the benefits. Let me go on to more important things. See, I was doing my own research here. I've been spending the past couple hours looking at this information. And the elite of this world have such preferential treatment. So I wanted to, you know, I hadn't seen this before, but I wanted to bring it together and bring it into a video to share with you guys here. The party, and it's referring to the Communist Party of China, has its own safe food supply in China and they're talking about actually having their own non-GMO healthy food for the Communist Party for the elite in China they get their own food supply while the remainder of the people get whatever's left that's how this works even the most basic essential thing that we need our food is not the same what about this here and they're actually suggesting that the queen is going to save energy and save power. Meanwhile, look at the size of the palace that these individuals live in. And I just wanted to note out of this that they have their own greenhouses. So the queen, the whole royal family, they have their own greenhouses. They have their own food supply just like the Communist Party in China, while well, we get stuck with everything else. And this just reminded me of how in Germany, they received the clean, quote unquote, clean vaccine during the H1N1 fraud that happened. Let me go on quickly. Prince Charles, I'll just highlight this for you, employs 133 staff to look after him. You and I have nobody to look after us except for ourselves. And this individual who siphons off of hardworking people has 133 staff. This article in particular goes into so many different things. I'll put the link in the description as I always do. But it is sad and sickening to see what exactly they do. He has his shoelaces ironed every single time he takes his shoes off. That is absurd. If you want me to get more into this, I can do an insider video on this specifically. This is unbelievable. I have to go. I have to continue on though. British families to snub the bathtub. And Prince Charles actually had the audacity to tell the British families don't take a bath, save on energy. Meanwhile, they have palaces, they have greenhouses, and they have 133 staff per person there just to iron the guy's uh, shoelaces. I mean, this is so crazy. This is worse than any other fictional movie you can get. So what I wanted to bring to light, of course, was just to inform you that this is actually happening. This is actually possible. You know, there's some people out there who just absolutely love the royal family and they're taking pictures. I was watching, you know, these uh, screenshots here and they had taking pictures of the royal family. Like it was something, the greatest thing that ever happened in the world. And they're siphoning off of us we need to realize that it's us the individuals with our family our close connected families that's what's important not the royal family it's our own individual family I want you guys to go over to the moneygps.com head down to the bottom and get on the insiders become an insider because this is where I'm able to get information to you that I cannot get over YouTube. YouTube has to be short. It has to be sweet. This is where I can get into detail and uh, you know have nice little emails, quick little tidbits of information, and you know I can get it to you through the email. And you know I've been working on drafting a few emails there, so look for some uh, emails coming to you soon.